Hello everybody, welcome back to Not The Speak Easy. I'm Zach. And I'm Jake. We are the Dirt Road Men. You may notice that we are in different attire than all of our other um, best of for the year 2019 videos. Because they might have been shot weeks apart. Because we're idiots and we forgot to pick our cigar of the year. Also, you know, we did drink whiskey for three videos before we even would have got there, so that might have had a part in it. <laughs> yeah, and we, we were doing uh, uh, comparisons in some of those videos. Yeah, we were doing a whole bunch of stuff, so it's it's not uncommon for us to uh, drink a little too much whiskey and lose track of what we're doing. Yeah. It's very uncommon, I'm just kidding. It's the most <laughs> uncommon thing I've ever heard of. Um, so, we're here to name our Cigar of the Year for 2019, which, uh, sadly, for most of the cigars we reviewed in 2019, we actually reviewed really early on. But before we get there, um, do you remember what it takes to qualify for Cigar of the Year? Yes, it has to be a cigar. Shocker. Uh, that we reviewed on camera this year, and that we liked best. Yeah. Um, I'm... Well, I'm actually smoking a cigar we reviewed this year, I believe, which is the Cow America. It's a really good one, but not my cigar of the year. And you're smoking one we've never reviewed before, right? Uh, correct. This is the uh, La Flor Dominica LFD uh, Double Ligero. Uh, it's a chisel. It's a Maduro. Pretty sure it's a Maduro. Mm -hmm. It is really good. Initially lighting up, it wasn't super great, but a little bit down. I would like to review this uh, uh, next year. Yeah. Because it's pretty great. Yeah. Um, I think Jake's a little burnt because Cigar of the Year this year isn't his favorite cigar, sadly. Because Which is we did weird. review the Camacho Triple Maduro. Yeah. But the Cigar of the Year was actually a more rare cigar, which is the uh, Man of War Maduro Perfecto. At least for me. And I believe you said it was for you too, correct? Yeah. Yeah. We didn't actually say that before the camera started, but we kind of, we knew. Yeah. It's it's the stick by which we've measured every Maduro cigar that we've encountered since. And it was just really impressive. And we did kind of become AJ whores earlier this year. Oh, uh, yeah. AJ Fernandez puts out amazing cigars as it is. And the Man of War Maduro Perfecto specifically... Um, they only released 5,000 for public consumption. Yeah, it's kind of a unicorn. Yeah. Now, the Man of War does have a Maduro that they put out that is a similar blend, but it's sort of like a barrel pick of whiskey versus the flagship version of the whiskey. That was a really good way to put that. Um, it was just better. The Man of War Maduro is good. I think it was the Ruination Maduro that we also reviewed this year. Yeah. But I like the Camacho Triple Maduro better than that one. But the Man of War Maduro Perfecto that we got that had the silk bands and everything was just a cigar that I've never... Like, it was better than any cigar I've encountered, encountered before. It wasn't... For me, it's not just Cigar of the Year. It's the best cigar I've had to date. Same. <laughs> You know, and, and the, the reason why the Triple Maduro is my favorite cigar isn't because I like the way it tastes better or the way it smokes better. It's I can go into 90% of the smoke shops and buy it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and it's still a 10 cigar. It's yeah. just... It, it's, it's not It's like comparing, as... you know, Wild Turkey Rare Breed to um, Stag. Yeah, like, yeah. you can find Wild Turkey Rare Breed in almost every liquor store. And you can't find Stag in almost every liquor store, but you can if you look around. They're both 10s, but Stag is just a cut above. And I'm hoping, and I'm pretty sure, we will find something next year that beats Stag Jr. And I'm pretty sure because I will have the uh, monetary resources to acquire <laughs> said whiskeys. <laughs> um, but yeah, so Cigar of the Year from Dirt Road Men for 2019.
the Man of War Maduro Perfecto. It's phenomenal. It's the best. Everybody should buy them and send them to us. Especially if you can still find them. Yeah, I imagine if we were able to get them. We we were able to get a few of them. I think in total we had like 15. Which is a good amount for those cigars. Um, out of 5,000, so... Yeah. But... I suppose that's all we've got. This uh, this will probably be the last video we have going up for in 2019, so Happy New Year, everybody. And fuck off 2019. Yes, fuck 2019 and everything it stands for. Till we see you again, I'm Zach. I'm Jake. And we are the Dirt Road Men. <laughs> fuck you for... Hey everybody, if you like this video, uh, hit a like or dislike, comment, uh, subscribe, and hit the notification bell. And if you really like what we're doing, uh, check us out over on Facebook where we post every day.